Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and welcome back to another PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now we've already looked at creating files, um, putting content into files. Now what do we want to do if we want to delete or we want to rename files? So in this video we're going to go over a couple of functions uh, for with deleting files and uh, one function to um, rename files. So we have a function that specifically deletes a file that we specify and then a function that renames a file to a file name of our choice. So I've got a file um, here called file to delete.txt and I've got a file here called file to rename.txt. Now I'm not going to be using any examples in this uh, in this tutorial. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you the functions and how they work and we're going to be testing it in the video. Um, but why might you want to delete a file? Well, let's just say you um, were allowing your users to upload files. You may be storing them somewhere, say in a database, or you may be giving them access to a link that maybe would let them delete the file. So if you wanted to allow your users to delete files that you've uploaded, then obviously this function that we're gonna talk about in a moment is gonna be useful to you. Now, why might you want to rename files? Well, first of all, like uh, my prior example about the deleting the file, you may want to give your user the option to rename a file that they may have uploaded. You also might want to rename a file that already exists on your server. For example, if you were allowing users to upload files, but you wanted to keep these as a hidden name, you could say generate um, an MD5 hash if you know how to do that, um, or you may generate some random numbers and call this file, uh, let's say, you know, a value of, of random numbers .txt, for example, uh, obviously depending on whether it was a text file or uh, another file type. So I've created this file called file to delete and obviously we're going to be deleting this. And then I've created a file called file to rename and we're gonna be renaming this to um, a file name with a random uh, number as the, uh, as the text of the file name. We're gonna keep the extension .txt though. So let's just open up our browser so uh, we know what we're doing. We can see the file.php is the PHP file that we're currently working on. This is where we're going to be um, performing our actions from. And we've got file to delete.txt, which we can keep an eye on because obviously we want to delete this, and file to rename because obviously we want to rename this file. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to delete a file. Now you may think that the, uh, the function would be something like delete. Um, but we actually have um, the function name as unlink. So we call the function like this. Um, it's always a good idea to put this into an if statement. Um, once we've done it uh, with the first argument, it only takes one argument. Um, I think there's one argument which is um, an absolute must and there may be other optional arguments. But go over to php.net and look up this function and uh, you'll be able to find specific information about it. So the argument that we give this is the file that we want to delete um, with regards to the whole file name. So let's go ahead and type file to delete.txt. Now if we were to run this program it would delete the file. However, let's go ahead and put this into an if statement. And the first block is gonna be if this is true. So in other words, if this uh, file has been successfully deleted. So inside here we can say echo file has been deleted. We could also just to make things um, run a lot smoother and you're probably gonna be storing your file name in a, in a variable anyway. We can give a file name variable uh, str of string data type just up here. So let's go ahead and put the file name into a variable called file name. And then here, let's reference that in there. So what we can do is we can say file and then maybe create some strong tags here. And we could then concatenate on um, the file name itself. So you can see how it's easy to reuse the same uh, file name that we've specified up here. So otherwise, we want to give an error message. Now, we're going to be performing a test that is going to, uh, is actually going to activate this error message, and that's going to be when we've already deleted the file. So once we've deleted the file, we're not going to be able to delete it again because obviously it doesn't exist. So um, we're, going to, we're going to be uh, showing this. We're going to be running this script twice. The first time, it's going to successfully delete the file, and the second time, it's going to return us an error. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some text in. So file cannot be deleted. 
just for example you can obviously reference this variable in there if you want it's entirely up to you so um, as it stands we're going to unlink the file name so we're going to be deleting this file to delete.txt and then we're going to be giving a confirmation message to the user 